Few Americans serve in the military, only about one half of one percent. But voters often like military men and women in office. As political editor John Delano learned, one local congressional district will have several veterans to choose from. There was a time when three quarters of the members of Congress had served in the military. That's down to 18 percent today. We could use more of them in Congress. Veterans tend to be pretty practical people who like to solve problems. A former Marine, Democrat Congressman Connor Lamb, a lawyer when he signed up, says he went through basic training like any other Marine. And that was part of why I chose the Marines, because that's part of their um, philosophy, that every Marine is a rifleman uh, first. And, and that shared experience of doing all that hard training together makes it that much more of a, of a tight and kind of powerful community. But already, two other veterans, both Republicans, have stepped up to challenge Lamb in 2020. Like former Army Ranger and platoon captain Sean Parnell, who was wounded in Afghanistan. At some point, you sign on, the, on that dotted line. You put your country before you, you know, making a buck before your family. I mean, you write a check, a blank check for up to including your life when you serve. Parnell shares Lamb's view that military service trumps partisanship. Veterans are more likely to work in a bipartisan manner with other people. We're, we're more likely to reach across the aisle because, as I said earlier, the country comes first. No surprise that former Air Force captain and pilot Scott Timko agrees. But this combat veteran says vets know how to make decisions, too. What the military teaches you, it brings you leadership. It gives you the ability to collect information, to make decisions, to evaluate circumstances, to look at a problem from all angles and decide on a course of action and then to be decisive and execute your plan. In the end, it's really up to voters to decide how important it is to them to be represented by a veteran in the U.S. Congress. But here in the 17th Congressional District, there may really be no choice. It will be a veteran in the end. In Mount Lebanon, I'm John Delano, KDKA News.